idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company that provides you with your CNC router bits. If you're in the market for upgrading your CNC router or just in the market for a really good pro-level machine, then this video is going to surprise you. I was at the AWFS show, that's the Association for Woodworkers and Suppliers for Woodworking Equipment and what have you, high level stuff. And I came across ShopSaber, which is an American made CNC uh, router maker company. And I got to talking to Brandon. Now he's one of the owners of the company. It's a family owned company. It's been in business for like 40 years, I think. But anyway, I got to talking to them about their shop saver machines. And I got to tell you, these are some seriously boss machines if you want to get a serious machine. So this video is an interview with Brandon about their equipment, about the company, which is a very interesting story. So if you're in the market for a seriously rock solid, badass CNC router to really take off with the CNC router space and own your own business type of thing, then you definitely want to check this out. You'll be very interested in this interview. So let's get talking to Brandon. Hello, my CNC brothers and sisters. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and welcome to this very special episode of CNC routers. I'm at the AWFS show in Las Vegas, bouncing around, and I come across some serious CNC equipment, Shop Saber. These things are like, you stop here and you go, this is the puppy I want. Anyway, so I started talking to Brandon here, and Brandon is a Shop Saber guy, and so I figured let's just talk to Brandon and learn about the Shop Saber machines, because I know some of you want to get into these serious pieces of equipment and this is this is the one you want to be thinking about so brandon first of all let's talk about shop saber who it is where it started uh, who are you <laughs> here thank you uh yeah my name is brandon Mamardo. Uh, i am the director of sales and marketing here at shop saber but uh my father actually started shop saber almost 25 years ago and uh it's still very much a pride of ours you know my father still works at the company my brother's um, like I said, it's, it's very much still family uh, operated and uh, obviously with the way we do things, it's always been about being made in America and that's what makes me the, the most proud about this is that we are built here right in, in the United States. Uh, actually, we're out of Minnesota. Um, specifically, what we're standing in front of today, this is the Pro Series. It's the Pro 408. We also saw it in a 4x4 and a 5x10 for those who need different sizes and then the other one that we got in the booth is our IS series, which is available in a four by eight, five by 10, and then a six by 12. Okay, okay. So one of the things that really caught my attention about these shop saver machines, I mean, when you look at it, it's it's like a, a really robust looking machine. And so I've been watching this, it's all ball screw driven. Um, and then you look at the price tag and stuff like this, just 56K, that kind of blows me out of the water when you're doing that. But, um, so you said these are all made, you make in the U.S. as yep. much as you possibly can. Absolutely. Minnesota, so there you go. There's the first thing for, for us uh, patriots. So talk about a machine like this. So you got, on this thing here, we've got 12 stations. So this is what they call an ATC, and this is a, a, a linear ATC as opposed to a magazine that rotates. Correct. Um, the nice thing about linear is they're all set up in one place. They don't take a big space for the magazine. But Correct. You got a vacuum table on this unit. Yes, sir. Um, and what, what, what's the drive system? First of all, one of the things with most CNC routers at the kind of lower level, they're what they call open loop machines. And what yeah. that means is that the CNC control system sends the data to the motors through the CNC control but the motors don't give feedback to where they're at and how much distance they've traveled. Yep. And if your machine skips a step or something goes wrong, it doesn't know it because it's not being told. So you've got a, a completely closed loop system. Yeah. yeah, correct. So our system, full ball screw driven, as you said, which is one of the unique things about us. You know, when you look at machines of this price point, they're mostly rack and pinion. You don't really start to see ball screws tell you to step up. Yeah. And for us, the ball screw just makes sense. We're looking for machines that don't have problems. And ball screws last a long time, extremely accurate, but none of that matters if the machine gets lost, right? Yes. And that's what, you know, that closed loop system, we're really proud of that. It's a full closed loop system. 
Um, we use Mitsubishi servos on these machines, so we're not using you know off-brand stuff. It's Mitsubishi, well known, but yeah, every one of them have a glass encoder on the motor, okay. and therefore the feedback. I always explain it the simple way: is it's like driving around with GPS in your truck. If you get lost, it's going to correct it. Yeah. Same goes for the machine. If something happens, something weird, the machine's going to let you know. Versus driving around with the old map. You end up where you're not supposed to be, and right, then you right. find out we did something wrong, and we don't know where. Right. The machine itself is going to let you know before it's a problem. Okay. So what what's the control system that you're using with these guys? Yeah. So it's it's Shop Saber has its own version of Win CNC. Okay. So we currently have Win CNC controller on there, but the hardware is very stable, built here in the United States as well. And then the front end and the software side is actually modified by Shop Saber itself. Okay. Okay. And then uh, of course it's compatible all your design yeah. software pretty much any design software out there yeah right what is this design software you generate so we we utilize a lot of vetric products okay. vetric vcar pro vetric aspire that's our go-to um cabinet makers to jump into the kcd mosaic you know those those cabinet uh, programs there okay and you, as you know if you've been watching the channel i teach the vetric software yeah uh, vcar pro so so what this unit here has um you got a vac table on here correct yep. and and one of the things I notice here is, what, what's up with this? What is this material? Because yeah. it's usually MDF. Yeah, so this is a phenolic material. Yeah, and okay. so the benefit of phenolic is, it doesn't matter the temperature you have. It's not gonna swell, it's not gonna you know change with heat and humidity. It's very stable. Yeah. The other beauty of that is, if you need to cut aluminum and you got a mister, you're putting fluid on there, it's not gonna absorb it in here. So it allows you to utilize you know aluminums and things like that without the worry that you're gonna destroy your tabletop. Right, okay, that's a really good point where um, so many people ask me about aluminum. And the, the thing with benchtop machines that I've been teaching mostly on, they're not really capable of handling aluminum just because of the structure of the machine. Yep. So this thing can take the aluminum, can handle Absolutely. aluminum? Absolutely, yeah, so that beauty of the ball screw drive system, those robust servo motors, and then the heavy duty frame really stabilizes. And the one thing I like to point out, Speaking of aluminum, the edge quality you achieve really starts at the base of the machine. If there's any harmonics, you're gonna to start to see it in the machine. Yeah. Right here, there's a nickel that's been ba balancing on this machine the whole time we're talking. No. And it's sitting on edge. So that nickel shows you how stable this machine really is. And so that transitions into the cut quality you're getting. Yep, okay. So one of the things he just said, I'll reiterate. So number one, you have, uh, when, one of the biggest problems in machines is, is your, your chatter or you know, harmonics and setup in the machine because of the cutting tool. And that that will translate through into your job, basically. And so the ways you get around that is, number one, by bulk. The bulk will absorb the vibration or doing a proper structure of the machine or a combination of both. Correct. And so you got to stick a nickel here. I, yeah. I saw that before, but I didn't think of that. That was, yeah. that, that was awesome. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And uh, so what kind of max travel does this thing have? This one will do 1,200 inches a minute, okay. and then the IS goes 2,100 inches a minute. Okay, and then what, uh, with the spindle, what, what's the horse? Yeah, so we offer the spindle in a 5 or a 10 horsepower in the ISO holders, and then we go up to a 13 horsepower in the HSK. Okay, all right. And that's uh, air-cooled or water-cooled? Yep, it's all electric fan-cooled. It's an HSD spindle, Italian spindle. Okay. Yeah, I like that you got the ball screws running throughout. And you're not using small ball screws either. Oh, yeah, very large ball screws. Very cool. So what, 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 what's the precision you can get down to? Yeah, so the machine itself, uh, this has a 1,000th repeatability. Um, as far as the actual accuracy, you know, cutting is going to be somewhat dependent on some of your tooling and things like that, but the machine is capable of down to 1,000th tolerance. All right, okay, okay. So at the end of the day, I keep looking at this machine. I mean, look at the, the girth on this thing. That, this is impressive. I take all to get one of these in my shop. But uh, I wanted to interrupt this for just a moment. That if you are getting some uh, interest about this Shop Saber badass machine and you want to know more about it, then down in the description of this video, I have the information where you can contact Shop Saber, get more information. I mean, it's a good thing to shop around for your CNC machines, but. This one, I think you're going to really like the Shop Saber. Anyway, let's get back to the interview. I tell you what, uh, and then he got a bigger machine over here. What's the deal with that one? Let's yeah, let's, let's take a walk over, over here and check this thing out. So, as we're talking though, um, you know, there's just some some CNC creators that are ready to step up their game, or the ones that just dive right in and say, "I'm going for gusto." You know, th these are one of the things. One of the things that's really important to me yeah. that I 
preach when people are researching machines yeah. is the customer support. And Absolutely. Everything's about after the sale. Yep. And um, there's way too many companies that don't support their customers. Yeah. And uh, so when you got a, a, a U.S. made machine, there's, there's, as you know, there's a certain amount of pride in the, the U.S. stuff. But you, you have people there that are willing to help you. They're making their stuff in the U.S. for the most part as much as they can. Yeah. And so it's, it's accessible to you. So let's talk about this one. Yeah. What, what, what's the name of this one? Yeah, so this is the IS series. Okay. Um, oh, indu yes. Industrial series is what okay. we call it, yep. And this one is exactly as you said, the step up from the Pro series. This is for your production. You need to run it all day, every day, or every second counts in your shop. And that's really what this machine's about. Okay, all right. So this is for your series guys that are yeah. like, we're gonna make something go with this. Yep. So another cool price tag is, yeah. 65k for something that this size. That's, yeah. that still kind of blows me away. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. cool. All right. And then, um, how do you warrant your machines? What's yeah. Warranty? So with us, we provide a, a one-year warranty on all of our equipment. There's no limitations to what that. It's not like we only cover certain things and not other things. With our machines, we are covering it as a complete package. You know. Okay. And, and with that being said, we do have extended warranties. Um, that's part of what we're doing right now at, at AWFS. We do have an extended warranty for free with every machine bought at the show. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're, we're really big. As you said, you can build the greatest machine in the world. If you don't know how to back it, it doesn't matter. Right. And for us, the support is more important than the machine itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's got to work for you for a long time. Is this 24-7 type of machine? Can we do. Yeah, you can run it all day long, every day, seven days a week. We have a lot of people that do, a lot of big name companies. Right. Check it out on our website. You'll see there's a lot. we got a lot of companies that trust our equipment. Okay, getting back to the story behind the company, what is it, why did your dad start ShopSaver? Yeah, so it's kind of a fun story. Uh, my dad used to be in the computer industry and uh, Y2K, all that was coming along and uh, my dad realized like, we gotta come up with something else that's gonna you know work after Y2K isn't real, you know, like once it doesn't happen. So um, my dad started exploring and, and my, uh, my stepmom wanted to get into arts and crafts and some of that stuff and my dad said, I'm not sitting at a bandsaw cart cutting hearts and roosters the rest of my life. And right, so right. he went to go look for a machine and the ones we found at the time, we just couldn't afford them. They were too big, too expensive, and my dad said, we gotta go build something. And ShopSaver was born. That's, that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, very cool. Brandon, thank you for taking some time. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Yeah, and um, how do you get hold of you if uh, someone wants to know more about yeah. this? If you want any other information, you can go to ShopSaver.com or you can email me at Brandon at ShopSaver.com. Yeah, I'll put the information down below, all the links down below. So just look in the description of this video and uh, that information will be there. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Thank you. And there you have it. We've talked to Shop Saber. You got a little inside scoop on the company and their machines. You saw some footage of the machines, and you can tell they are definitely rock solid machines. Down in the description, check it out. Give them a call. Go to their website. Whatever you need to do, the information is down below. Have a great day, better tomorrow, and happy CNC. IDCWoodcraft.com.